Thousands of people gathered today at protests to oppose COVID restrictions. By far the largest crowd was in Auckland and police say they were extremely disappointed by the gathering. Shannon Redstall was there. A parade of opposition. And our freedoms, our rights are being assaulted before our eyes. Auckland's third freedom rally was its biggest yet. Police say 5,000 people descended on the domain today, all fed up with the system. The people have had a guts on. And those people had many different faces, from parents who wanted better for their children. I've got three, uh, three kids under five. You know, they're getting robbed of their childhood, man. To media haters, lockdown loathers, Trump supporters, and teachers who don't support the vaccine mandate. We have to have a jam. But the man many people wanted to see most, Brian Tamaki, was nowhere to be seen. My husband is heartbroken and he couldn't be here today. I have practically begged him to stay put. Having already been arrested twice for his involvement in previous protests, he was warned in court that another misstep would land him in jail. But that didn't stop the group from taking to the streets. Thousands of people have shut down the streets of Newmarket this afternoon. They're angry, they feel like they're not being listened to, and they're calling for more freedom. With case numbers at an all-time high, this march may well turn into a super spreader event. While some people wore masks, they were in the minority. And social distancing, well, forget it. Similar protests were held around the country, with hundreds turning out in Wellington. And that's where this group is hoping their message will be heard. The ninth floor of the Beehive. Teachers. Teachers. Shannon, this is a clear breach of Level 3 rules. Have the police taken any action tonight? No, they haven't, Sasha, but police have said that they will be prosecuting multiple people in the coming days. Police today were more observers than they were enforcers, possibly because they didn't want to add any tension to the situation, but police have said they are extremely disappointed by this gathering, and Superintendent Shannon Gray has said while he understands the right to protest, it should not come at the, at the expense of restrictions that are trying to keep people safe. He said that the health risk posed to both protesters and to passers-by is both unnecessary and unacceptable. Thanks, Shannon.